Okay, so you wanna get a kid a game for the Nintendo Switch, but you wanna make sure that it's suitable for them, right? No crazy amounts of violence or mayhem, nothing that'll make you raise an eyebrow. So these are games that came out in 2018 that anybody of any age can play. And I actually did a similar list last year that you can check out as well for even more options. Also, if you have any suggestions that I don't name, feel free to drop those in the comments as well. And of course, I will leave links to these games in the description below. And the first game on my list is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Now this is an action puzzle game and it's personally one of my favorite games on the Nintendo Switch right now. In the game, you control Captain Toad and Toadette, and basically what you're trying to do is navigate through obstacles, trying to reach a gold star at the end of each level. Use the game's camera to view around the world, revealing a bunch of hidden areas and bonus items and whatnot. Also, while you can walk and run, you cannot jump in this game. So it forces you to strategize your movements on each level. It's a super fun and lighthearted game with a very simple story that I think should be in everybody's Nintendo Switch collection. And the next game on my list is Runbo. Now, Runbo is a platform racing game where you try to be the first to reach a trophy at the end of each level. You can double jump and attack enemies or use your attacks to get extra reach while you're jumping. It has this constantly shifting background in each level that changes colors, sometimes making obstacles the same color as the background, which adds, of course, a layer of difficulty to the whole thing. There are a bunch of modes like a time trial mode and arena mode. You got this master of behemoth mode, king of the hill, and a whole lot more. You can also customize your character however you like. It's actually a very solid game. And next up on my list is a game that a lot of people love. It's called Overcooked 2. Now this is a co-op cooking simulation type game for up to four players. You chop and cook ingredients, you combine them on plates and serve the dishes over a conveyor belt. There's a lot of coordination involved too and you can often like bump into other players causing things to get crazy pretty quickly. Overcooked 2 brings a bunch of new levels and themes and costumes, gameplay elements, a bunch of different recipes and whatnot. Some levels have moving floors and portals and impassable fires. It's like an extreme cooking game and it's also like an online multiplayer component as well. It's honestly a fantastic franchise that I think anybody can enjoy, adults and kids alike. I think you should get it, but you know, it's up to you. And the next game is The Gardens Between. Now The Gardens Between is a puzzle game with a story that's centered around a couple of teens named Arena and Friend. They become friends after Arena moves in next door. Basically the game has about 20 abstract levels influenced by the memories of their friendship. Arena has this lantern that activates portals and Friend can sound wind chimes that open and close flowers that give light for the lantern. And he can also control time for some objects too. It's a beautiful, visually unique game that any older kid could really jump into and really, really enjoy. Now this type of game may not be every kid's cup of tea, but some kids like me, I would have really, really enjoyed this kind of game when I was young. Next up, we got a game here from a legendary franchise and that is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Now you should know about Donkey Kong. This is a platforming game. Here you've got Donkey Kong and his friends and you travel across six islands trying to defeat the snowman. You control Donkey Kong who's assisted by his companions that give you more abilities or if you want a second player can control them too. Like in classic Donkey Kong games, each level has Kong letters and puzzle pieces to unlock bonuses and hidden levels as well. The Nintendo Switch version of this game adds Funky Kong as a playable character in this new funky mode which is basically like an easy mode. It's great for players who don't want too much of a challenge as this game can get really really tough in later stages. It's another game that I feel like should be a staple in every Nintendo Switch collection. Everybody should have this game in their collection. It's absolutely worth it. Next up on my list is Wander Song, and this is a puzzle adventure game. It follows the bard as they go on a quest to gather pieces of a song that will save the universe from destruction. It's like a side-scrolling adventure using a colored song wheel with eight directions, each like representing musical notes and whatnot. Similar to like rhythm games, you're at times matching notes with other characters to solve challenges. You use the bard singing to affect the environment and defend against enemies. It's a very simple game, not for everybody, but I think some kids will really enjoy it. This next game on my list is a game that if you want to give your kid a trip down memory lane, you want to introduce them to the classics, but in a way that they may actually enjoy it, that's what this game here is. And that is Pac-Man Championship Edition 2 Plus. Of course, Pac-Man is an arcade game and it's pretty much the classic Pac-Man formula, but faster and with tweaked gameplay. Like the classic Pac-Man, you go through mazes collecting pellets and avoiding the ghosts. Eating enough pellets reveal a piece of fruit that sends Pac-Man to the next maze or a power pellet that can be used to eat the ghosts. Unlike in the classic games though, because you're moving so fast, you're allowed to bump into the ghosts three times before they go into like an angry mode where touching them will cause Pac-Man to lose a life. They also added things like jump pads and bombs. And there's also three main mode, score attack, adventure, and the co-op mode as well. If you want to force your kid to like Pac-Man, I guess this would be the game that you would use to torture them. It's a fun game, but you know, of course, every kid's not gonna, you know, yeah, I ain't gotta explain that to you. <laughs> 
And the next games on my list both came out this year on the Nintendo Switch, and they are both worth checking out, and that is Toki Tori and Toki Tori 2. Now don't judge a book by its cover. These are puzzle platforming games. Toki Tori follows this young chick in his quest to rescue his siblings. Basically, you gotta find your siblings and whatnot using a set number of tools and involves a lot of careful planning. It is a really, really fun game. And in Toki Tori 2, you don't have those tools this time around. Instead, you have skills that you can use to manipulate your environment and the creatures within it. Both games are full of fantastic puzzles to solve and hours of exploration in these beautiful worlds. It's a title that I know some would look over because of its kiddie appeal, but it really, really is a fantastic game. And next up, you know these games had to be on my list. I'm talking about Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Pokemon is a role-playing game and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are essentially remakes of the classic Pokemon Yellow game that came out on the OG Game Boy Color. They brought in some of the newer Pokemon introduced in later games and completely reimagine how you go about capturing Pokemon this time around. It borrows a lot of elements from Pokemon Go, you know that smartphone game that came out a couple years ago that everybody was crazy about. You start out with either Pikachu or Eevee depending on the game you buy and you can play the game cooperatively if you want to with others locally capturing Pokemon together and of course as you'd expect from a Pokemon game in 2018 you can play against and trade with players from all over the world. Listen I probably didn't even have to talk about this game on this list. This is probably a game that your kid was like I want this, I want this on the Switch. They probably already mentioned it to you but I figured I would do it as well. Just to let you know, yes, it is a suitable game for all ages, for all kids. It's a fantastic franchise. I think Pokemon Let's Go is also a great introductory game into the Pokemon universe for a lot of kids. I wish I had this game as a kid. It's a must have game for any kid on Nintendo Switch, but honestly, did I really have to tell you that? Just buy it. You know you're gonna have to anyway. <laughs>